Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this particular video, I'm going to tell you how to use Image Playground on Mac and which Mac OS version you need in order to use Image Playground. So I'm going to guide you through each and everything. But before that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. So the very first thing you need to do is just simply go to system settings, which you can find in dock or else go and select Apple logo and then select system settings. Now, once you go to system settings, go to general, go to software update and make sure your Mac is updated to Mac OS Sequoia 15.2 because the image playground option you are going to get is uh, only available for uh, Mac OS Sequoia 15.2. If you are on 15.1, you will be able to use the writing tool uh, option, but you won't get image playground in 15.1. So for image playground, your Mac should be updated to Sequoia 15.2. Now, not only this, once you update your Mac to 15.2, again, go back to general and in language and region, make sure your language is selected to English US and your region is selected to United States. If you are from any other region where Apple intelligence is not active for now, you can just change these simple settings and you will be able to use Apple intelligence features. Now, again, one more thing. Uh, next setting is go to Apple intelligence and Siri and make sure Siri language is set to English US. So these are the basic settings uh, you need to check and you need to change in order to use Apple intelligence feature. Now, once you have updated to 15.2 later on, if you go to Launchpad, you will get a new application, which is image playground. So in order to use image playground, all you have to do is just simply tap and open the application and this will be the page. Now over here, it says describe an image or add a suggestion from the list. Now, what is the list? So you will be able to see this suggestion over here. You will be, uh, you will be able to check out your image. If you want to generate your image, you can select that. You can add inputs from this suggestions. Uh, if I tap on this arrow, you will be able to add new themes. You will be able to add new costumes. There are options of accessories and places as well. So I'm going to show you each and everything. Uh, but before that, let's do one thing. Let's simply uh, tap on this uh, describe an image option and let's describe an image which we want to create. So let's say if I want a dog with robotic arms, if I give this input, you can see input is given and based on that input image will be generated. Now it has created an image of dog with robotic arms. That's good. It, I'll still say it's not up to the mark, but it's still good. If I tap on this arrow, you will be able to check out different interpretations of that image. So yeah, we have got few images over here. I think it's good, but yeah, as you can see at the back, there is an extra arm or leg. You can say it's not, up to the mark but i think this image is still good i am able to check out the robotic arms of that you know dog so you can give the uh, different uh, inputs based on that it will generate an image now if you want to just simply edit the uh, you know input you can just simply tap on the image like this and it will take you to this uh, option tap on the input and you will be able to change the input at the bottom now this time let's try something different let's try lion with robotic arms so yeah, not up to the mark but i think still it's okay yeah you can check out different images over here and i don't like this image but yeah uh, it has uh, given the output based on the input so yeah uh, let's say for example if you want to save any particular image which you have liked you can just simply tap on three dot and select save image option over here and the image will be saved in image playground only. So if I go to this prompt section, if I remove the prompt and if I select done, or let's say if I restart the application. Now, once you open image playground, once again, you will find the saved image over here. Now, if you want to create new image, tap on this plus icon and it will take you to this particular page. Now this time, uh, let's give another prompt. Let's say if I want man on beach. So I have given an input okay so it is saying me to choose a person so let's say if i select my particular image it is going to generate my image and it's on the beach as you all can see it's still funny i don't look like this but yeah it's a funny image you can try this input again if you want to add anything from the suggestion you can do that so let's say if i want to add lighthouse i will give or i will select lighthouse over here and based on this three input, it will generate an image. Now you can see I am on the beach and at the background, I'm able to check out the lighthouse. Now let's try 
to use some more suggestions if i tap on show more option this time it is showing me to choose a theme so let's say if, if you want a birthday party select birthday and based on the input it will generate an image so now you can see balloons are there in the background and it's a birthday theme i guess yeah so you can check out the decorations in the background so it was the theme now let's go to different page let's try costume so let's add astronaut costume now you can see it has added astronaut costume on me and the theme is birthday and still i'm able to check out lighthouse in the background so yeah based on the input you have given it will generate an image and later on as i told you if you want to you know change or edit the input you can just simply tap on that and you will be able to edit it now if i try accessory i don't think so it will work on astronaut costume so let me remove astronaut costume first and let's try bow tie for now so now you can see it has added bow tie over here so yeah i think you might have got an idea that how to use this prompts or how to use this um, suggestions and based on that it will generate an image now the next thing you can do is if you go to style option over here currently it is generating image on animation uh, but if you want to change the style you can choose illustration and now uh, the image which will be generated will be in illustration form oh it's it's more funny now but yeah i think you have got an idea how to change uh, different styles over here in image playground let's go back to animation because i think that is more cool yeah back to animation over here now as i told you you can uh, choose your particular image to generate uh, you know your interpretation or uh, image based on your photo if you go to person option you can select your friend's image as well to generate image on their photo so you can choose uh, any different photo over here i am going to keep my photo only just for example i have showed you how to you know select different photo and based on that it will give the output so yeah this is how simple it is to use image playground on mac either you can uh, generate uh, you know image by simply giving different input or describing the image or else you can use the uh, suggestion option and also different style so that's pretty much it for today's video guys i hope this video was helpful if it was then don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you